Well, what a week. Rangers have had a Champions League win bookended by two crucial away days in the SPL. The first one at Batodri showed how much Walter Smith's team hate to lose. The defending champions were certainly set a stiff challenge as Aberdeen raced into a two-goal lead. Then came the Rangers' recovery. Fernand! Aberdeen leads Rangers! Prior 2-0! Oh, it's a penalty. Rangers are back in it. Miller! 2-2! Jelovic, 3-2! Game turned on its head! After beating Bursaspor onto Tynecastle to face a Hearts team five players different from the one which lost to Motherwell, the most eye-catching change saw Rudy Scatchell make the first start of his second spell. Rangers, after that special European night at Ibrox, were without injured pair Kurt Broadfoot and Lee McCulloch, adding to their attacking menace Nikita Jelovic and Vladimir Weiss. Highlights with Liam McLeod. Really interesting fixture, this one. Davis. Jelovic. Okello spilt it, it's Davis off the line, boozied. Well, Stephen Davis must have thought he'd given Rangers the lead. As it came back to him, there was Ishmael boozied. Well, there was a trip there by Bouguera, no free kick. Elliot went down. Good flick from Kyle. This is Scatchall. Still it's Scatchall! Look who's back! The hero under George Burley gets his second stint off to a great start and his first start. A goal against the champions. Well, Kenny Miller might be in here. No penalty, says Craig Thompson. Kenny Miller looks to the heavens. He looks to have a case. Miller gets that back. It's a really good touch from Nikita Jelovic. She's bounding into the box now. Miller went the other way. Jelovic is still waiting. Might come to Naismith. It was Obua who stretched out the right leg. Just as Naismith was trying to pull the trigger. There was a Bua. Papachin, Neesmith, Jelovic! What a save from Marianne Kello! What an effort it was from Jelovic! In from Craig Thompson, Kyle! Head in his hands. He was free. Jim Jeffries still suspended. As Vice takes the corner. Papac! What a strike this was from Sasa Papac. He just waited and waited for it to drop from the heavens. Naismith. Jelovic. Davis! Rangers 100% record is in danger here. Whitaker. Fancies this. Oh, Naismith, little flick there. There it was, the back heel. Naismith. Bars tackle, free kick Rangers. To be fair, Murrayfield is just across the road. Lafferty, who's just on. He takes and scores. Rangers are level with 10 to go. Could the keeper have done better? He's in a really good afternoon, Marianne Kello. Thompson. Kyle! Well, I would surely have won it. And his manager knows it. Rangers trying to bring on Greg Wilde. This is Vladimir Weiss. It's Kello again. Rangers sense this game is there to be won. Long one from Naismith, picks out Davis. Lafferty! Well, this is another magnificent piece of goalkeeping. 
from Marianne Kello. Five minutes confirmed at the end. Bouguera. Davis. What a save again! The Slovakian has been on top form this afternoon. Trey Thompson won it off Papac. No, referee's given the free kick. Jim Jeffries raging with that decision from Trey Thompson's namesake. This is Naismith. Lafferty. Deep into stoppage time. Naismith! He's won it! They've done it again! On the ropes for much of this one. And Rangers will continue their 100% start to their title defence. An amazing Rangers fight back, Derek, and it all started so well for Hearts, and it was going according to script, wasn't it, when Rudy Scatchell, the returning hero, got the opening goal? Yeah, it was a good goal, a good flick from Kevin Kyle. Need a runner in behind there, and Scatchell uh, gets a wee break of the ball there, and he actually misses, miss kicks it and um, gets the ball over the line, but Stephen Whitaker sh probably should do better. He sees uh, the run from Scatchell, but then they just don't deal with it. And, no, um, big uh, big chances for Kevin Kyle. Yeah, it was. It, he sees the ball all the way and I think Bagheera's picking him up and he'll be disappointed he's no hit the target there. And especially with this one? This one at one each, you know, he peels him uh, onto Stephen Wicker at the back post and he'll be disappointed he's no hit the target. He'd normally expect Kevin Kyle to score that one. Walter Smith said afterwards um, that Rangers had created enough chances to deserve to win the game and I think what we're going to see now bears that out, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you see, um, uh, Marion Kellos had some fantastic saves and cleared off the line there and certainly Rangers had a lot of activity in the, the Hearts box and it's credit to Rangers, you could easily have just said it's um, just not going to be our day on, on, on that Pacific day but I think that um, they kept going, they've got that mentality, I mean that's a great strike, it's a brave strike from Papach. What about the wall here? The wall's not right, I mean Ian Black's not doing anything there, the charges should be on the other side but I think he's half got his eye on the other uh, Rangers players there but the wall should be over there. I mean, if he's going to get done the goalkeeper on that side of it, I think he's, um, it should be a, a special strike. But that's a great save there, and more than makes up for it there. What about this one? And then again, I think that's just it, when the, the five minutes went up for injury time. Now, free kick, was it? I can see, I understand the frustration for Jimmy, you'd be looking for it yourself. I think um, Craig Thompson goes with studs showing rather than going with a, a kind of uh, open foot or a side foot. I can understand why the referees uh, gave the free kick, but it's still deep in Rangers' heart, uh, uh, defending half. And here, I think it's two or three things. Um, Egert Jonsson drops around a pal as well as doesn't he sense the danger. Moricek's too easy to beat, and again, I think the keeper should possibly do better. He'd be disappointed he's not got a better hand to it. But it's too easy um, beating the box here, Moricek. So it's three or four things culminated in, in the ball getting in the back of the net, and I think Hearts will be disappointed. So late in the, the game, not to get anything from it. It's a Walter Smith team, isn't it? Full of spirit, full of character. They just don't know when to give up. Yeah, well, and they've done it hard way against Aberdeen last week. Um, obviously, a, a result in Europe and a, and a fantastic result. Of that normally a lot of teams want to play Rangers Celtic after a European game, especially early kickoff. Hearts would have fancied their chances, so it does say a lot about Rangers and mentality that they had it in abundance last season, and they certainly seem to be having it this year as well. Stephen Naismith got the winner there is a developing talent, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing very well. I mean, I think when he come, came from Kamala initially, um, he got his injury problems, he was seen as maybe a, just filling in as a squad player, but he's certainly making a, a case for being a real regular and, and doing very well. He's had a fantastic week, you know, setting up the winning goal at, at Rangers, sco at Pataudry, scoring in the Champions League with a fantastic goal and being really influential, getting the free kick and then scoring the winner. Um, and, and Saturday's game at heart, so he's had a good week, probably, and then obviously he goes away with Scotland now, and I think he's an important player for Rangers and Scotland.